What's up Bafflers, James Witter here. This is going to be a quick video on how to solve a problem that I've been getting in Premiere Pro. Now I know sometimes Premiere can be a bit funny if you drag and drop videos into it, so often I like to just go to import and go to the file that I want to put in the video and then click open. However, as you may be able to tell, it's just coming up with not responding. It's not, it's not, uh, doing it at all anyway so this usually just results in adobe premiere pro is not responding you just have to close it okay so what i'm going to use to re-encode the video there is a adobe media encoder you can try that if you want however for some reason that didn't seem to like the video either it just, it just kind of got stuck for me it may work fine for you however i'm going to use this free piece of software called handbrake and in fact the adobe support actually <laughs> recommended handbrake so that's what i'm going to use so handbrake and okay so once you've got handbrake it just drag and drop a folder hopefully this should work if not you can go to file and open source uh, okay so we've got the video right here and my video is 1080p 60 so i, I want to change that preset is there a 1080 60 uh no okay okay that's a bit random no okay no 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 big deal so what i'm going to do is go to video tab and then change the frame rate to 60 now some of your frame rate may be like 59.94 try and match it otherwise it may look strange try and match frame rates whenever possible my, my footage is actually 60 frames a second so i'm going to match that and uh quality if you're doing a 1080p video i recommend 20 or over you don't want to go too low otherwise it's going to look terrible so if you're using OBS or some other screen recording software, you may have two separate audio tracks, one for the game audio and one for your microphone. If you do have that configured, then make sure you select add new track and then select number two from the drop down menu. And then this will be either the game audio or the recording audio. So when you import it into Premiere Pro, it will be like it was before. So say if you use this preset all the time, what you can do is save a new preset. So I'm going to call this Fast 1080p. I'm just copying what their name is, but I'm going to change it to Fast 1080p 60 and add that. So next time I want to use that, then it's, where is it? Custom presets. Okay. So it's under custom presets and Fast 1080p 60. So let's go ahead and start encoding. 20 minutes later. So I'm back and the encoding has now finished. I don't know how long it took exactly because I went away from the computer so it may have finished ages ago. So we'll see if the newly encoded video is going to work in Premiere Pro. And drag and drop this into the... It will tell me that I need to match the sequence settings. Change sequence settings so it matches the video. As you can see, for it's just loading the uh, peak files but yes as you can see it's loaded both the audio tracks so I've got the background audio track on A1 right here and on A2 I have the microphone track so if I play it now problem we have go away go away go away <laughs> so now the video is working perfectly in Premiere Pro hopefully this helped your problem with the video I know encoding takes a long time but if it's the only option it's the only option so hopefully this has helped out your problem handbrake is a really useful utility and it's free if you like this video smash that like button I'm on Facebook Twitter Instagram snapchat and TikTok. follow me at baffle channel if you have any questions let me know down below for all the latest head over to baffle.cc